I hate the cold. Good talk. Needs more singing. Need to get a snack. Low cowl. <laughs> What the heck is that? How do games work? What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander's Good right. We can't rush off blind. We need more to go on. What about Liara Tassoni? The, the matriarch's daughter. Isn't she some kind Talk of expert on the proteins? Okay. Yeah, right. Her mother was working for Saren. I bet she is too. But Nezia helped us in the end. Maybe Liara will too. At the very least, we should head for the Alchemist Tau cluster to find her. Who put you in charge? Did the commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. Look, this is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew dismissed. Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? Oh, God, How many they're generations pissed. until they overrun the galaxy? This queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. All right. This is like our little medium room. See if I can go talk to my crew. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, ma'am, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. You doubt my decisions? I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, ma'am. Understood, ma'am. Yeah, that's what I thought. That sounds better. Trying to doubt my decisions? It's out, Deadlock. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop him. We don't need their help. Some people think asking for help is a sign of weakness. That's just being stupid and stubborn. No matter how strong you are, Presley's allies can make you stronger. Racist. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways Pistol of thinking. Pistol whip him? But don't worry, Commander. This okay, I be can't, a like, beat my my crewmates. I think I'll get, like, mu mutiny? Is that even a verb? How did you end up assigned to the Normandy? I signed up with the Alliance as a navigator right out of school. Following in my grandfather's footsteps, I guess. My first posting was on the Agincourt. We were at Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. A massive fleet of alien raiders hit the colony, trying to wipe it out. Aliens like pretty yeah, the broad. Numbers, but their ships were no match for an Alliance frigate. It was a slaughter. We couldn't even keep track of how many ships they lost. How'd you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. Captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. Respect my authority. Oh, nice. Wait, where does that take us? Let's talk to Caden. These people are still here. You guys are such slackers. Commander, do you have a minute? I always make time for my officers. Off the record, 
I think there's something wrong here. This Saren is looking for a lost mass relay, who knows where. But we can't get backup from the council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. It's have funny. I romanced Finally anybody? No, I haven't even gotten close to romancing people. Set. And the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers. Well, well. You're a romantic. Did you sign on for the dream, Malenko? Secure a man's future in space? <laughs> yeah, I, re I read a lot of those books when I was a kid where the hero goes to space to prove himself worthy of a woman he loves or, you know, for justice. Well, maybe I was a romantic in the beginning, but I thought about it after brain camp. Uh, I'm sorry. Biotic acclimation and temperance training. I'm not looking for the dream. Sub's the last. I want to do some good. See what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. Can I romance this guy? Tell me about him. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics. I can romance him? After the discovery of the I don't think it's movies. going very well. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first gen subjects. Can romance everyone you can Until bring on missions? On I can romance Rex. Your guys in suit show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. Romance we Rex. Did a circle and get together every night before <laughs> yes. Out. Definitely. We didn't have much to do though. It was Absolutely. A platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Time to get physical then. Is that a flirt? I don't know. I can't tell. I'm gonna romance everybody. I just tell him to go on. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. Anyway, this was supposed to be a casual debrief, not a bull session. I can't tell if I'm flirting. I can't tell if I'm flirting or not. <laughs> I'm interested. Just pretend I'm interested. Step one to flirting. Pretend you're interested in the conversation. I wanted to get to know you a little better. That's all. Thanks for the talk, Caden. Well, you're welcome, man. Even though I didn't pay attention to anything you, uh, he said. Make a habit of getting this personal with every. Oh, okay. What do you think? To some degree. No, just you. But I don't. I don't know if I. You know. Should I say what do you think? Sounds negative, but I feel like the up one is always supposed to be positive. Romancing! We're trying in Droka right now. Should I say I guess I should say no to you? I didn't say I did this for the whole crew. We should talk again. I'll uh I'll need some time to process that, Commander. Oh wow. But, yeah. I'd like that. Yes, progress. Progress and romancing. Process it, my friends. All right, that's good. Good job. Got some XP. <laughs> I showed up just in time. Well, nothing happens. This looks like a nice little secret area. 
Just saying. <laughs> All right. Anybody else we can romance? What about the doctor? Can we romance the doctor? Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Personal questions. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of. Uh, I we already asked her. Humanity this. needs the Alliance if we want to keep everything it. you made. Some but there's something special about working on soldiers. I should oh. go. Goodbye, Commander. No new dialogue. Damn. Uh, in this game, the only romance options are Caden for female and Ashley for male. Wait, really? That's so boring. Are you sure? Does it get more open in the future? So boring. I want to romance Rex and Garrus and Joker and everyone. <laughs> I never have any luck though. I always get, I usually get turned down in these games. I try though, I do try. I try my hardest. In Liara. Okay, where's Liara? Boy, am I glad to be off of Novaria. I don't know which was worse, the cold or the corporations. One Barla Bond? Wait, I could have romanced Barla Bond? Really? With all due respect, Commander. I just want to talk. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Can we romance Joker? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me uh, as gives your us, I think that's a really backwards good. way of thinking. I'm not thinking. even great. I'm like the an best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. A disease? What are you talking about? Are you sick? You mean, you mean you didn't know? Have I found the elevator? I did, but I don't, oh, where, oh, should I go down okay. there? I've got Rolex yeah, okay. brittle bone okay. disease. Let's the go down there. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless... You know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. How'd you get your nickname? Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, mm, and it stuck. Um, I mean, Gish likes that, that. That's just like my opinion on uh, on the matter. Doesn't really necessarily reflect what I do. Just my opinion. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy, even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. Seth Green? One guess was smiling at graduation. Oh my god, is this really Seth Green? It definitely sounds like him. Is this really him? Oh my god, that's so funny. Oh my gosh. Personal history? Is that what we just asked? How'd you end up joining the Alliance? Oh, no, it's Look, different. if you're looking for an inspirational tale of the crippled kid overcoming impossible odds, you're gonna be disappointed. It is? Wow. My mother was a civilian contractor working for the Alliance. That's so I basically cool. Grew up on That's so random. How did they, like... Building up the fleets. Spend all that time around Alliance ships. I don't know. I, I just think that's, like, a academy. random thing. Is he in? I, I, I don't... I, don't I guess I, sh I shouldn't right, ask. I don't... I want to avoid spoilers, but... All right, so this is to leave the ship, but there is an elevator in the back I want to check out. Oh, wait. How did I miss the elevator? What? Wait. 
Oh. I gotta take this down and then there's an elevator. Okay, I've actually never been down here. I assumed it was like a garage or something, but I realized I haven't seen like half my crew. This has gotta be like a, wh where's my like personal quarters and like the bar and the cafeteria? Those, those are like my, those are the things I wanna know where they are. Okay, this is, oh, there's Rex. Shepard, what can I do for you? Okay, we can at least be friendly with Rex, and maybe, I don't know, maybe if he's around in the, in the next game. Story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. You Krogans lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. Oh, God. That was fun. This isn't a hotel, it's a ship. <laughs> but I need a place to sleep. And we need to eat. And, well, okay, maybe we don't need a bar on the ship. <laughs> I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. Rex is so fun. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. <laughs> Out! <laughs> As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us. Oh, but God. It's not what's killing the us. burn! Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. One level down from the bridge? We're too I do have quarters. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. What can you tell me about the genophage? Doge. Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected, every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, <laughs> Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. Damn. So long, Rex. Shepard. Damn. Equip tally? Oh. Commander? How are we doing? What's your opinion of the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Commander. They proved that 2,000 years ago. Booker, please. I think it was a mistake to let them go. But that wasn't my call to make. It, it was yours. You know, when we pick up that Asari scientist, we'll have to tell her we killed her mom. That's gonna suck. Ooh, that's gonna be Just awkward. Saying, Commander. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time off the record. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. One level down from the bridge on All the right. left side of the cafeteria. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm. I'm concerned about the aliens. Everyone the hates aliens. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? Wow, everyone's racist. 
What kind of dog? Boston Terrier. Hey, what's up, Cam? I'm doing well, thanks. How are you today? Um... Don't mince words, Chief. What's your concern? This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons... You're out of line. You don't trust the Alliance's allies? <laughs> I'm not sure I call the council races allies. <sighs> Game day solo. Six dollars and sixty-six cents. Ah! We have to learn to rely on ourselves. That was very spoopy. Thank you, Game Day. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. You got a pessimistic view of the universe, Williams. A pessimist is what an optimist calls a realist. Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. Hell it's no! Not racism, not really. Actually, Members you are dumber than a pile of bricks. Oh my god, dude, I'm out of this conversation. You sound like one of those terra firma party pamphlets, Chief. Terra Jesus. firma is a pack of jackals. The founders had ideals. These days they just play off xenophobia and bigotry. And what do you call your concerns? I hope my reasons are more rational. Hell no, they my are. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. Oh god. I'm so done. <laughs> Just shut up. Alright, I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. First of all, like, like your dog not. is never gonna be able to take on a, a, problem, a bear. You say John, I don't care I say what dog high. you have. You tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which cheek. I'm glad there won't be a problem. Anything else you need, Commander? No. Dismissed, Chief. First conversation of my life. Ashley is a cat person. It's not gonna work, Ashley. I'm sorry. I'm rejecting you. Too ignorant. Garrus. Commander, nice work out there. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSAC. Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're Garrus like. Garrus is cool. I like Spectres Garrus. make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. I think Garrus is gonna join me in my crew. These damn bureaucrats are always on your back. For the most part, the rules are there for a reason. Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. Ah, uh, Sados. No, I'm sorry. A, a dog is never gonna take on a beat a bear. That's just not gonna work. A dog takes out stuffed bears all the time. If you, yeah, yeah, I know, weird fool. That has nothing. To, what? What does that have to do with the dog? <laughs> First of all, you're not gonna outride your dog. Second of all, I'm not gonna t make the dog take take the bear. I'm sorry. I'll just die. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things. There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. C-Sex handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside C-Sex. Either way, I plan to make the most of it. Who else is Googling dog versus bear? Without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. Beautiful. I'm not feeding my dog to, to die. I'm sorry. Look at that dog. Look at that sleeping angel behind me. He is an innocent animal, cutie pie, who loves me unconditionally, and he will do as I say sometimes. I'm not gonna intentionally send him to his death so I can barely outrun a bear. That's messed up.
If getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not fast. Got it? I wasn't trying to. I understand, Commander. I'm not gonna tell him to. I, that's the point, is I'm not telling him to attack a bear. Purchase new equipment. Okay, where's Liara? Sixty percent of the time. <laughs> oh wow. Engineer Adams. Hey Commander, you know that Quarian Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month <laughs> on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real nice Wow, Niels. I can see why you wanted her to come along. <laughs> no, Blackjack, that's r messed up. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. I don't really care about this person. I Carry can't remember him. Aye, aye, Commander. Where's Tally? Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive core like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I know, Roadkill. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. We haven't done the mission yet. Um, the Normandy's a prototype, cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift. We're doing that mission next. A converted tug ship in the flotilla. Oh, at uh, your I'm first floor window, Blackjack? That's well played. Okay, that's well played. Space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. <laughs> that's, that's pretty smart. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. Damn. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. When my people reach maturity, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? Uh, that doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. I can't believe they just send you off alone. It's not like they just cast us out. Before we leave, we are given lessons in how